Black and Gold Network checking in here for the first time this season with the men's soccer team. Here with head coach Chris Kelderman. Coach, just a couple days away, all the excitement must be building. Season opener, Friday at home, Evansville. Yeah, it's a big weekend. Obviously, opening weekend, we've got two te tough teams to play against. Uh, I think the guys are ready, though. They're, uh, they've been playing against each other every day, twice a day, and uh, I think they're, they're, f they're ready for a new, a different opponent. So now, uh, speaking of the guys, there's, uh, what, 14 freshmen? How, is, how has that been for you guys and the coaching staff kind of getting used to all the new faces? Yeah, it's challenging, you know, not only for us as uh, staff people, but uh, as for the players as well. Uh, we had to really approach the preseason with uh, not only fitness and getting guys sharp technically, but uh, getting familiar with each other. We had to play a lot, whether that means small-sided games, uh, a lot of games, uh, 11 v 11, just getting familiar with each other. Um, strengths, weaknesses, tendencies of everybody. And uh, so it's a lot of playing, and uh, hopefully uh, you know, we've gotten better each day. I uh, see so you've got a, an exhibition game on your belts against Loyola, 1-1 uh, draw there, and then went on the road to a tough environment, SIU uh, Edwardsville, a very good team, second round of the tournament last year, uh, packed house, 2,000 fans. So uh, tell us a little bit about what, what you learned about your team in those two games. Yeah, two preseason games, both on the road, like you had mentioned, uh, both tough environments you know, for different reasons. Uh, I thought the first game, you know, we played everybody, got everybody on the field. 45 minutes was the most I think any individual played. Uh, we took it uh, a little bit more like a 90-minute match closer to the season against SIU Edwardsville. Very good team. Uh, I believe they're a team that's expected to, in a preseason poll to win their conference. A very good team and very organized and uh, in front of a big crowd. And uh, I thought we played very well. Uh, we gave up a couple goals due to two plays that we just weren't very sharp on. But um, other than that, I was very pleased with uh, the performance, the way the guys came along and uh, are gelling together. And we just got to keep getting a, a little bit better each day. Final question then for you. Um, opener on Friday and then on Sunday you go on the road to a very difficult environment, Creighton, who's uh, one of the teams, you know, it's going to be the mix for the national championship this year according to all the, the preseason polls and publications. Now, of course, you guys want to win that game, but, you know, win, lose, or draw, what do you kind of expect out of your team in that game? Well, first things first, one game at a time. We play Evansville. It's the first game of the season. We really don't know much about them. Um, I'm assuming they don't know much about us, but um, that's a game that uh, we're focusing on first, and uh, we're expecting to get a result. You know, every time we step on the field, we, we play to win, and uh, uh, I think we're good enough to, to get a victory, but again, we have to play well, so we're preparing for them. Obviously, the next day we, uh, we leave for Creighton, uh, one of the best teams in the country, and uh, that's going to be uh, very, very challenging. Um, you know, we might have to change uh, a game plan a little bit tactically and this and that, but um, again, uh, it's a game that uh, we, we go out there with expectations of doing well. That's what uh, successful winning teams do. and. Uh, uh, we're going to change a little bit. Obviously, uh, they're a very good team, but not change too much. We've got to believe in ourselves and uh, uh, believe in the strengths that we have and uh, see what happens. Well, thanks for your time today. Good luck this weekend. And, then, of course, we will see you here under the lights on Friday. I'm looking forward to it.